Hello, everybody. Mike Welch coming to you from an almost balmy Churchill Downs where the weather forecast is uh, looking upward for a couple of days. Warmer weather moving in. Some uh, rain perhaps on Thurby. And then uh, right now they're calling for uh, good weather for Oaks and Derby Day. I'm here with the Daily Racing Forum Kentucky Derby Clocker Report brought to you by Spendthrip, whose amazing list of stallions, their stallion roster, includes the 2020 Derby winner, Authentic. All of the action today, or just about all of the action today, came after the uh, renovation, the first renovation break during the Derby Oaks session. Obesos, the only Derby uh, horse to go out early this morning uh, under the lights, and a couple of scattering of Oaks horses as well. But uh, the main action was uh, during the uh, Derby Oaks session, and the uh, star of that show was Midnight Bourbon, the only worker of the, of the morning. Well, sort of. I'll uh, talk to you about that afterwards. But Midnight Bourbon. It was uh, expected to be the usual Steve Asmussen slow half mile five days out before the race maintenance work, but that was a little more today, a little bit unexpected. Uh, Midnight Bourbon did break off at the half mile pole. He went the uh, half mile in 49 and three, but then he continued on into the turn under some urging. Uh, actually went five furlongs. It's an official five furlong work in 102 and three. Galloped out all the way back around into the back stretch at 16 and four. My guessing, without talking to Steve. The fact that Midnight Bourbon will go into the Derby having not run in six weeks made him want to do a little bit more today. And I, I thought he looked really good. I thought Midnight Bourbon's made a pretty good impression here since I've been here for about the last 10 days. So just another um, piece of the puzzle that's uh, pretty confusing. A lot of horses doing well. Uh, and if you're uh, not an essential quality fan and you're looking throughout the favorite, a lot of options, including Midnight Bourbon. There was actually one other work during the uh, Oaks Derby session. But it came from a horse that's not going to run in the Derby, who is likely going to run in the Preakness, and that's Bob Baffert's concert tour. He's been training with the Derby horses. He's been training with the Derby towel. And today we were kind of waiting for him to breeze. And he, he did that this morning uh, right before midnight bourbon. He went from the half also, four furlongs in 48, went five eighths, continued into the turn in a minute and three-fifths, galloped out in 14. Just okay, nothing special. I've seen uh, tapes of his works going into uh, his previous race in Arkansas seemed a lot stronger than this. So uh, maybe this is leading up to a bigger work uh, next week as he prepares for the Preakness. Like I said, just about all the Derby horses were out today. We also got our first look of Rock Your World and Hot Rod Charlie, who shipped in from California yesterday. But only a, a, a small look. They didn't really do much today. We expect to see them to go out and gallop tomorrow. Uh, Medina Spirit. A second day galloping today. I love what I saw yesterday at a high energy level. They kind of scaled him back a little bit today. I think uh, Bob Baffert might have been afraid he did too much his first uh, real gallop day here. So look fine, but just uh, not as high energy as the previous day. Uh, for Todd Pletcher, the first group, known agenda uh, in the first set uh, today going out during the uh, training session, looking good again. I just, just like what I've seen from him. And in the second set for him, I thought Sainthood looked very good again. Uh, going to be one of the biggest long shots in the field, but he's had actually a pretty good 10 days here, looking good there. For trainer Brad Cox, essential quality, and Mandaloon came out at 7.30. Did a little more than jog today. Remember, they worked just two days ago, so expect to see them back on a regular galloping routine tomorrow, and I expect to see them out very early tomorrow, probably somewhere around the 5.15 or 5.30 period. Soup and Sandwich and his stable mid Helium came out today. Soup and Sandwich, like I mentioned, you watch him gallop, not much to look at, not pretty. But today, a little bit better. I, he seemed to get around here a little quicker. Now, a little quicker is uh, eight miles and maybe 19 and 20 seconds instead of 22 and 23. But I take that as a good sign that uh, he's come out of his works well and uh, moving forward going into the race. Now, uh, with Cattle River out, the pace scenario a little bit more muddled or maybe less muddled if you want to look at it that way. Rocky World for sure going to be up there on the lead. And I think Super Sandwich is going to be up there pressing with him. On the uh, Oaks front, I thought it was the Million, uh, Ma- I call it the Million, the Mally Show, Millefoy and uh, Malifat from two different barms, but they were galloping uh, right together, uh, one behind the other, socially distanced nicely, but I thought both had a very good energy level. I like what I saw from those two. The Oaks, which they're drawing about now as I uh, shoot this video, uh, is also a pretty tough handicapping race. A lot of horses doing good, so uh, we'll see how the post positions come out, and then tomorrow, they will draw the Derby, and of course, with the 20-horse field, naturally, that post-position draw 
is very important. We did have one other der- uh, derby worker today, and that was at Parks. Brooklyn Strong early this morning reportedly went five furlongs in a minute and four. He'll be shipping here tomorrow. Now, all the derby horses have to be on the grounds by 11 o'clock. Uh, there are still two up at Keeneland, uh, Hidden Stash and Like the King. They are going to train there tomorrow and then ship in here uh, right before 11 o'clock. So we won't get our first look at them uh, also until Thursday along with Brooklyn Strong. So and that's about it for today. Now all the major works are over. Uh, just keeping everybody happy uh, with the steady gallops. Uh, most of them will be galloping now uh, throughout the rest of the week, and we're going to be here to report on that right through Thursday anyway. Hopefully the weather will hold out. Uh, we won't get that rain as they're forecasting. But uh, rain or shine, we'll be here at DRF.com with the best coverage of Kentucky Derby, Kentucky Oaks 2021.